everyone, my name is Kaylee. I'm an intern with Walk with the Doc. Today we are showcasing Dr. Luke Lemke, a physician from Columbus, Nebraska. Listen in while he shares helpful tips of how to protect your immune system during COVID-19. I hope everyone can get out and enjoy a great walk. Thank you guys, have a great day. Good morning, my name is uh, Luke Lemke. I'm coming to you from beautiful Columbus, Nebraska, right in the heart of the Midland. And we, uh, we wanted to take this opportunity to uh, say a few things uh, about uh, COVID-19 and what you can do and what you might be able to help do for your immunity in order to uh, help fight this disease process. As you know, there's a lot of things that have been talked about and a lot of things that you're hearing about that might help you stay healthy during this uh, COVID-19. And let me just say right from the beginning that there are a lot of things that we don't know specifically about this virus and how we can fight it. But these are some general principles that we teach here in Columbus uh, to a group called the CHIP class, Complete Health Improvement Program. And really throughout the entire community, we're trying to stress some things that you can actively do to, uh, to be healthier. And a lot of these are very common sense and I'm gonna go into a little detail on some of those. So when we talk about the, uh, the virus, uh, we know that uh, there's not a treatment for it right now. There's not a vaccine. So what we're gonna rely on is our immune system. And our immune system is, is made up of two different components, that that we are born with or our innate immunity, and, and that that we adapt or that we acquire uh, that can occur with uh, exposure to the virus or a vaccine. But I'm gonna talk today mostly about our innate immune system, and that's the immune system that our body has, and that lives in our, in our, in our mouth, in our gut, and, and, and in different immune systems like our spleen uh, and our, red blood, our white blood cells. So let's talk about some things that we can do to help our immune system. And let me say right now, we don't necessarily wanna boost the immune system because that may in fact actually make the effects of the virus a little worse. You've heard about this boosted immunity and what it might do. And we wanna be very careful not to do anything that may make the, the immune system become hyperactive because that may actually trigger some, some difficulties. So let's talk about some basic concept. And, and, and we talk about this as uh, the, the six pillars. Uh, the first thing is sleep. Sleep, as you know, is one of the most important ways that our body does to regenerate. Our body needs eight to nine hours of sleep every night in order to let it rest. And the immune system is no different. The immune system needs that rest to regenerate its cells, not only in our gut, but in all of the systems of our body. If it doesn't have that, it's in a constant state of inflammation. And we don't want a constant state of inflammation, okay? So really important now is more than ever to get your six to eight, or to get your seven to eight to nine hours of sleep every night. And that may include naps too. For some people that works better. There's no problem with taking naps. That does help the body's immune system. Secondly is exercise. Now, Brian, I gotta tell you, I would be walking, but unfortunately the wind wouldn't allow us today, but normally we'd be out here walking. And I, and I exercise is an extremely important way to regenerate and help to make a smart immune system. Not necessarily a boosted one, but a smart immune system. Now, when we talk about exercise, uh, there's different kinds of exercise and uh, uh, daily exercise is extremely important uh, to help regenerate the immune system. We wanna be careful not to go into real highly intense uh, uh, exercise because they find that that, and once you get past a certain point in exercise, that may actually start to break down the immune system, make it weaker. So we wanna make sure that we're doing a moderate amount of exercise, 30 minutes of walking a day is great, bicycling at a low intensity, uh, swimming is still fine, uh, just moving in a chair uh, if you can't get walk or do any of those, doing some exercises with your legs. Uh, those are all very good examples of regular exercise. We want to be careful not to, uh, not to uh, uh, over exercise. Uh, second, uh, third thing uh, is uh, eating. Now I want to I want to say a couple things about eating. There's a lot of things that we can do that I think would help keep our immune system healthy. Uh, I call it G bombs. Uh, these are some foods that I think would be very helpful that wouldn't excessively uh, boost your immune system. So, for instance, uh, greens, salads, uh, arugulas, uh, your spinach, your kale, all of those 
are extremely important. The second thing in the B, uh, the G bombs is called berries. Any kind of berries, dark berries, light berries, all of those contain a lot of phytonutrients that help make our gut healthier. Uh, third is O, which is onions. Interesting, anything in the onion family, which include onions and radishes and root vegetables of all kinds, contain different chemicals that help to stimulate our body's immune system. And they also contain a lot of fiber, and fiber is what's healthy for the gut. Uh, so M is, uh, is for uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are very, very helpful uh, when it comes to uh, is stimulating and helping the body's immune system work better. Uh, uh, the, the, third, uh, the second B uh, is for, uh, uh, I'm gonna skip to that and go to seeds. Seeds and nuts, S is the second one. Uh, seeds are very important. Any kind of seed that you can have, uh, extremely uh, helpful. Uh, they help stimulate. Now, you got to be careful not too much seeds because that contains a lot of salt uh, and a lot of uh, saturated uh, fats as well, too. So those are some basic ideas, some things. There's a lot of other healthier foods. And in general, you want to try and avoid foods that are highly processed. You want to avoid foods that are high in saturated fats, high in sugar. Okay, All of those things may, in fact, actually hurt the body's immune system and keep it in a great state of, of inflammation. Uh, the, the, third, the fourth thing that we want to talk about is stress relief. Uh, now more than ever, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety out there. And I really implore you all to, to look into ways that you can improve your, uh, reduce your stress. And that may include meditation. That may include prayer on a daily basis. That may include yoga. Those are things that some of you may not be comfortable with, but if you are able to do that on a, a daily basis, I think you're going to find that your body's resiliency and immunity may be helped by this. Once again, all these things we don't know for sure, but I'm hedging our bet that those things are going to help us as well too. So the fourth, the fifth thing that we talk about is loving relationships, and this is something you're all struggling with right now. You know, we are all in a social isolation to a certain extent, physical distancing, uh, much more than what we're used to. But that does not mean that you have to isolate yourself. You can still reach out to people in ways that you've never have, whether it be by Facebook or whether it be by a phone call or a letter, uh, an email. All of those things that you're able now, you may have the time to do that. Extremely important for your mental health, but most importantly, it's important for your immune system. Your immune system needs that feeling. People who have loving relationships have have healthier immune systems and we know that from a lot of different studies on people with uh, uh, other kinds of viral illnesses. So those are some basic things that I know you've heard a lot about and I just want to implore you all uh, to stay safe, uh, stay at home, and continue to listen to your health professionals in your area because uh, through this, as you've said many times, we're gonna get through this and we're gonna be better as a result of this. With doing some of these and establishing some of these healthy habits right now, you are gonna find yourself on the other side of this healthier than you ever thought you would be. So I wanna thank you all for joining us today and I want you to make sure to stay safe, stay at home, and have a great day.